Greetings and salutations to my esteemed guests and subscribers. My name is of course a Light Liger and today I have the pleasure of doing a bit of a tutorial slash review on OpenSea. And OpenSea is basically an NFT marketplace where you can buy and sell various different NFTs within the Ethereum ecosystem and also Polygon, formerly known as Matic. And in the future, there has been talks about additional blockchains such as Tezos and maybe others will come around as well in the future to the marketplace that is still kind of open what will happen. But we're going to be focusing on Ethereum mostly because that's where um, most of the stuff is going around on OpenSea. And there are obviously a couple of other alternatives to OpenSea in the Ethereum ecosystem where people like to trade. But to my understanding and memory based on statistics, OpenSea is the one that has the most amount of traffic out of them all. And that's where usually at least it's kind of like the most open service because some are for premium users only and be more curated, I guess, in certain aspects. So OpenSea is more for like everybody uh, in the Ethereum ecosystem and everybody can uh, join in. And before we jump into um, all of this stuff, I want to remind people that there is that possibility that OpenSea might do an airdrop in the future. And because of that, you definitely want to uh, take the benefit of these uh, low gas fees going right now on the ecosystem and try to purchase a one NFT from the marketplace the cheapest one if you prefer, and then you might be possibly getting that huge airdrop from OpenSea if they're going to be doing that. And I think they're going to be uh, distributing that to the sellers and the buyers on the marketplace. So I'm going to leave my referral link down below uh, in case people want to buy some NFTs. Obviously, this is uh, something that I truly recommend because of that airdrop potential. But let's finally get into the whole OpenSea thing. The first thing is to actually log into the platform Form. And luckily, there are a couple of ways to do that. We are going to be using uh, MetaMask. So what you need to do is have your Ethereum mainnet here available. And then um, you will have it here as well. So let's go into logging out, for instance. And now we're going to be going back into that logging phase. And there are four different options. Sorry, there's more than four different options here. Pretty much everything is available in terms of uh, different wallets, Coinbase, Wallet Connect, Formatic, um, you must have one of these. Surprised to have Kaikas here. I didn't know that they support Ethereum. Maybe they do. So we're gonna be using MetaMask and it's probably gonna be popping out, uh, you know, confirmation or something for the first time and we'll, uh, you're basically locked in. Um, if you're gonna be uh, changing your account here on Ethereum, let's say account to this, uh, you don't really need to log in again. It just automatically changes that. Um, when you're going to be uh, creating that account. You get to choose also your own account name uh, on the site and you can also register your own email. So every time you're going to be making a sale, uh, somebody sending you an offer uh, for something that you own on the ecosystem, then you will be getting an email. That is optional, but that's something that I do recommend so you have a bit of an idea what's going on. So here is my uh, actual wallet page. Here I see uh, all the NFTs that I own. And here, uh, in case they are on Matic, they will have this sort of icon here that they are on a different blockchain. So you will be knowing uh, if there's no sign, that means that they are on Ethereum. And here I have my Ethereum name service uh, domain, for instance, which you can sell. You can sell, um, I, I have a video about unstoppable domains and they actually have a promotion going on, if I remember right. And you can sell domains uh, here on the marketplace. For instance, there are a lot of things you can sell. And there's a lot of NFTs that you can buy and sell as well. So let's kind of go through a um, bit of the method methodology here. Let's say we have an NFT and we want to put it on sale. So here we have like a one that I mint. This was some type of a membership thing. I don't remember exactly what that was. And I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, sell this, but I'm going to just do it for the sake of the viewership so you understand how it's done. On the event, you see when what is it created. This was two months ago. It was done on Adapt. And you go into the top and bar, and you're going to be clicking Sell. And the first thing you're going to be doing here is you're going to be uh, choosing whatever you're going to be bundling it with other items on your inventory. We're not going to be doing that because I don't want to. 
Um, and then there's another option of putting a bidding-based auction for it or putting a setting price. The set price can be adjusted uh, later on. There is going to be uh, fees. So listing is going to be free, but when the sale goes through, 2.5% is going to be going into OpenSea. And obviously, portion of that 2.5% is going into a referral in case you're going to be using my link, for instance. So um, I can choose, obviously, which tokens I'm going to be uh, supporting here. So when a series gets verified, they usually get these three options and then they can add like additional one like engine or something else. But it seems that by nature, I'm not sure like how do you get other currencies here. But um, if you want to make a lot of sales, sometimes Ethereum is the best way or DAI. I think that has a bit of a higher volume than. So I'm going to be putting this at 50 cents or let's put 25 cents in somebody in case want to buy it today and be participating on that possible airdrop. And there you can include an ending price schedule for a future time. So let's say the sale, you want it to happen on uh, five days, seven days, whatever. But if you want to instantly sell it right now, then you just go post your listing. Um, there's going to be two uh, signature requests. The first thing is going to be the gas fee. Remember that you always want to, you know, make the sales happening on time when the gases are very low, you can uh, find all the, you know, basic stuff from gasnow.org. That's where you get up at the best rates and when is everything happening. Um, because this is not a trade or anything, this is an approval. Um, I think you can like put the actual grave much lower because it doesn't matter if it's going to be confirming in 10 hours or something unless you want it to uh, get confirmed really, really fast. And this is obviously going to be taking, well, how long Ethereum usually takes? Couple of minutes and we can view the transaction happening. And after you have paid the initial fee here, um, when you're going to be updating the price again, that is not going to be costing any gas whatsoever. Meaning that um, you're just going to be updating the price and there's just going to be a confirmation which you're going to be signing on your Ethereum um, wallet once that happens. But let's actually open up another tab here. Let's go back into my profile uh, since that is taking some time. So here I got some uh, burbs which I'm selling right now. And let's say I got this burb here and I'm currently setting it at uh, 0.07 Ethereum. And I'm like, damn, the Ethereum prices have gone too high and nobody's buying at this price. So I'm going to be lowering the price. You can also cancel the listing. Canceling will, um, if I remember right, um, let's see. I think this is going to be costing you gas, if I remember right. Yes, correct. So remember that, that if you want to cancel your order, this is going to be having a gas cost. But I'm going to be uh, lowering price. Okay, actually it popped out five different things. So we're going to reject all of them. So there apparently is not a, a way to uh, cancel all of them. So that's a bit problematic on this system. Because if you're going to be uh, lowering the price multiple times, you have to cancel each and one of single one of those, um, <laughs> which is, is not great. But this is once again, this is how Ethereum works. So I'm going to be setting a new price. I'm going to be putting at 0 0.055. You can also change it from Ethereum into other tokens that are being supported here, as you can see. Uh, it accepts multiple different tokens. I believe the creators of the sets can decide what it, that currency will be. Um, just bear in mind that stable coins and Ethereum is the one that people like to use or wrapped Ethereum, which is a very important one because you, when you trade among with wrapped Ethereum, the gas fees are going to be lower. And then we're going to be clicking set new price and then there should be a pop up here. And here you can see the message and there's no gas fee. It just shows you that you need to sign this. And now it will take a couple of minutes to update on the platform. And okay, it took less than that. And now the price is lowered. And now basically somebody can buy at that price. Obviously, anybody can buy at a higher price if they want to. Um, it's really up to the um, basically the, the guy uh, to choose which, which they want to use. 
but uh, you can also cancel individually certain of the previous prices also if you something let's say you're gonna be listing it on ethereum but you're also gonna be listing it on die so you kind of like have options to list it on different currencies might be something very smart to do when you are going to be uh, selling something very affordable where you don't really mind about the fees um, then there is statistics which you can look into also on their platform to kind of give get an idea on the total volumes and everything like that and there are a lot of series I always said this about Ethereum is that it's a very a whale heavy market so you don't really have uh, that many transactions happening on a series and here we had that um, item we were going to sell earlier and now finally that sign up came out to be because the uh, the confirmation went through and uh, so let's get back to my wallet um, and now it's basically here um, being sold as of right now on the platform and that's that's how you list your nft on OpenSea. now go let's go back to the stats a bit here so as i was saying um, there are a lot of series where you have these crazy 15,000 Ethereum volumes, but it may be that there's only few whales trading those between each other. So it's very important to also look at the, and this is what they carefully don't show you here, is that they show you the volumes and average prices, but they don't show how many transactions and how many sales have happened, which is the most crucial uh, element of, um, I would argue, in the NFT markets. And you can, vert, you can find this by virtual vo worlds and collectibles and even have domain names here so you can look at uh, Ethereum name service, how many have been sold and uh, unstoppable domains and decentralized names and etc. And in terms of the search and everything, you have the opportunity obviously to explore everything. You can filter by Ethereum, United States dollars. Um, people what they're selling these feeds are totally random obviously showing all the latest ones I think there was a filter somewhere to show only verified stuff and actually maybe not or maybe everything here is verified so I don't know about the explorability of issuing your tokens obviously on OpenSea so you might have to market them a bit on uh, different places rooms etc higher services, Twitter promotions. So remember always that, that Ethereum is not exactly, OpenSea is not exactly alongside with Ethereum, perhaps the best place to release an art collection or something like that um, if you don't have the capital for marketing. And then I want to quickly touch upon also the NFT creation. I feel like this deserves a, a video of its own. And uh, there's a couple of options from other Ethereum, you know, platforms here where you can uh, get the collections and you need the logo, name, description. This is going to be costing you gas, if I remember right. And I think this is going to be also registered in, um, in the blockchain. So that's something I want to put out because this is already 13 minutes long. I don't want to like, you know, go into a million uh, aspects about it, like how, how this that done. So we're going to be doing a separate video. Then there's also the referral th thing I talked about. So if you refer sales, you're going to be getting 1% of the sale. These are going to be happening in bulk. So um, you are going to get paid after it reaches 0 0.05 Ethereum, FYI. And uh, that's pretty much my rundown on OpenSea. I think the platform is pretty simple to use. I think they have certain benefits which are better uh, than other uh, marketplaces on the Ethereum ecosystem. I still prefer some other chains, obviously Wax and etc. Uh, for beginners and all types of things. But definitely there are some high quality art and domains, for example, which you can purchase. Um, and, and also remember, as always, that the, there's the Ethereum and Wrapped ETH have different icons. So you remember which one you will have. And here's like a one on Matic, which I might actually buy. But hey, thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video, whenever it may be. And um, if you have any questions about NFTs in general, I'm happy to answer those in the questions down below. See you guys on the next video.